Fun fact about this movie, we have Patty Mayonnaise back on screen in an actual live action role. I haven't seen her in years and I was really excited to actually recognize her in this film. Today on the channel, I'm going to be talking about a drama film called Giving Birth to a Butterfly that is now available to check out on VOD. I got an early screener to check this film out. So what did I think about this film? Well, stick around and let's talk about it. After having her identity stolen, a woman and her son's pregnant girlfriend bond together on a surreal journey as they attempt to track down the perpetrators. The film stars Gus Burney, Anna Paris, Jessica Pimentel, Paul Sparks, Constance Shulman, Judith Ann Roberts, Owen Campbell, Rachel Rochef, and Kelly Van Della, and it was directed by Theodore Schaefer. Giving Birth to a Butterfly, I did not check out a trailer before actually checking out this film. I saw the poster and saw that it was a drama film, and I got a screener for it, so I was like, I'll go ahead and check it out. What the heck? So this film, it really focuses on this centralized family. So you have this mother who her identity was stolen and her account was actually drained. She works at a pharmacy. Then you have a father that works at a cafe and he's very unhappy at his job and he has these dreams to actually open up his own restaurant but he's also having problems with his wife actually trying to get on board and they also have trouble as a couple actually narrating their marriage. You have a brother that returns home and when he returns home he has a girlfriend and this girl she is pregnant so they think at first that this kid is his and it's not because the dad actually has ran off this girl her name is marlene she worked at a library but now she doesn't have a job the couple's big dilemma is actually trying to figure out a name for this baby and the actual son that actually is taking over as being the father for this child he isn't going to college anymore and it's really weird because I'm not really sure if some of the actual dialogue in here is supposed to be jokey and supposed to be humorous for instance when they come by and they're actually sharing this news to the family the mother she's really reluctant to actually accept this news and also the son actually wants to move in so she seems kind of reluctant to actually have the son move in with this girl while the father is like okay that's great and oh you're taking care of this baby that's great so i'm not sure if the director was trying to show humor and try to be clever during those scenes or if the characters were just really that dumb so you have these characters set up here then you have the mother that actually is going off and trying to figure out who actually stole her identity you also have a daughter that's involved in here and she likes to dance and that's really all her character really does there's not really much more development with her character so we have the mom actually going off on this journey to find out who stole her identity she looks up on the internet she thinks that she's going to try to call her bank and try to figure out what's going on and meanwhile she actually tries to form a bond with this girl that her son is actually dating and most of the film it really shows the mother and this girl actually going on a journey and on a road trip and actually trying to find apparently this house where these people apparently stole her identity and while the film is only 77 minutes i found this film to be very slow very meandering and it just never really came together i really didn't care really about any of the characters but I think the overall central message and I think the themes that are presented in this film, I think that's probably the best about this film because a lot of the characters in this film, they really don't know what they're actually doing in life. For instance, they don't have jobs or some of them are very complacent in certain jobs or they're really complacent in their careers. And I think a lot of us, we get very complacent in our careers. I have been one of those kind of victims when I was younger. I was in a job for over 11 years in retail and I just kind of stayed there and I was very comfortable with it. So it touches on those themes. A lot of people, they have trouble really trying to get out of these certain situations, but also when people get into really bad situations, it's like they don't know how to maneuver and don't really know what they should do next. And I think a lot of these characters in this film, when they're in certain situations, they're stuck in a situation, they're kind of complaining about their situation, but they're not really doing anything to really better the situation. So I think the centralized themes that is actually being brought out in this film 
it obviously relates to real life and things that people they know they need to actually do better in life but they just can't get out of the rut. They can't find a way to navigate life in a more easier way. It's a film that's very dialogue heavy and it doesn't have a lot of background music. So a lot of the times the dialogue can feel very dry at times. In certain scenes, they just kind of feel very slow and you're just kind of like, all right, where are we going with this? And I think also when we get to the third act, it really does go off the rails. It goes into like a small, I would say horror kind of aspect and a vision kind of scene that they're throwing in there. It goes off very artistic like, but I just don't really think it comes together even by the time this film wraps up and a lot of the actual issues are actually presented. Not a lot is actually getting solved unfortunately. It does look nice on screen that it's a 16 millimeter film of how it's actually shot. The artistic value of that it's represented very well. But unfortunately, the whole narrative as a whole, and even though it's a short film, it's honestly very boring. I could really care less about the narrative on screen, the characters on the screen, are really a lot of what is going on. A lot of the dialogue, it's a lot of people kind of complaining about certain things in their life, things that they should be doing better, but nobody is really doing anything and a lot of people aren't really communicating, especially one issue that is brought up. There is one scene where the father is actually in the car and he's talking to his daughter and saying that the mother isn't very supportive of him and really not really talking about the restaurant that he wants to open up. And I was thinking to myself, well, just go ahead and talk to her. You know, you got to fix your problems. Other problems, obviously, with this girl that is having this baby. She doesn't have a job and she doesn't really even know what she wants to do for her career. It's like you're going to have this little human that is going to be coming out of you and you don't even know what you're going to do for a job. And then you have, obviously, the boyfriend that's taking care of her and treating her well, which is great. And that's something really good on track because, obviously, the boy that she was with that she was having this baby with obviously didn't appreciate her so it's great that she found somebody else but that isn't always what you need to actually be successful in life so you have characters in here that have actual issues that really aren't getting solved and that was the biggest thing that really frustrated me because you're presenting issues but they don't really find a way to actually solve those issues and unfortunately even though it's a slow film and a slow build I don't really feel like it really builds to a whole lot and by the time the film actually wraps up it just didn't really work for me as far as the score for this film i would give it a one out of five because i do like the way that it's actually shot it's a little bit different and i do like the actual themes of it but that's really all i can really give this film thank you guys for checking out this review let me know in the comments are you going to check out this film is it something you're really interested in and if not thank you guys for listening to this review and i will see you guys on my next review